What's going on and welcome back to another gear review and in this video we're going to be going over the Grey Ghost Gear SMC or Shoot Move Communicate Laminate Plate Carrier. Now this guy's going to cost you roughly around $300 to $325 and that's going to solely depend on whether you go with a solid color like black, uh, ranger green or coyote brown or if you go with a camo pattern and I believe they have black multicam, forest multicam as well, or the jungle multicam, and then you're just standard multicam. So you do have a couple of options when it comes to colors and camo patterns. But one thing to seriously think about with this play carrier is it only comes in one size. It will fit a 10 by 12 sappy plate, but and that's about the only plate that it's uh, set up for right now. So if you have a smaller torso or a larger torso, it may not work out for you. Hopefully in the future they do expand those sizes out to small and large and then even maybe extra large for the real big guys. But as of right now, you just have that medium 10 by 12 plate size for this plate carrier. So uh, kind of a setback when it comes down to it. But I will say even though it comes in one plate size, this plate carrier is an awesome plate carrier altogether just by how it's set up and thought out and all that. So with that we're going to start up at the top of the plate carrier move our way down to the bottom and then circle around the cummerbund and then hit to the back side so that way you guys get a good 360 of the plate carrier and help you determine whether or not this may or may not be a good plate carrier for you so with that up here up top at the shoulder straps you got your left and right like all of them in the world but uh, with that the cool thing is you have adjustments both on the back side and on the front side of those shoulder straps that connect to your first spear tubes right here so it makes it really easy to set this up, adjust it to your torso and your shoulders and not have any issues with it there. Uh, in addition to that, you do have these elastic straps that will help keep those Velcro adjustment pieces in place so that way you don't have to worry about them coming undone. It is padded on the inside, so it is a pretty comfortable fit when it comes down to it. Then you have your uh, first spear tubes right here. Simple setup when it comes down to them, if I can get it to open. I don't really use these all that much, so uh, forgive me on that, but you can see uh, it does come unclipped pretty easily. So uh, when you need to cut this plate carrier away, it will cut away very easily without any issue, and uh, you just clip it back in place when it's not in use. One thing that I really like about plate carriers that have clips up here, whether they're the first spear or one of the many other companies and designs that are out here, when you're packing things out, you wanna keep things nice and streamlined inside of a gearbox or anything like that. It is really easy to just disconnect everything, stack everything neatly on top of each other and not have to like, you know, work some like weird magic where you're trying to fit your plate carrier and cummerbund and all the pouches and all that stuff all together. So having these buckles both at the top on the shoulder straps and down here at the bottom on the cummerbund definitely makes transporting plate carriers much easier. Uh, when it comes down to it so uh, with that you got your first spear buckles they are situated a little high which is actually really nice so when it comes to shouldering a rifle you don't have any issues really there and then here at the front you do have your adjustment straps that are held in place by a little bit of elastic so it helps keep everything nice and neat and confined or controlled and connected to your plate carrier front pocket and rear pocket so a uh, really good design up top here these are a little padded as well not too much which is really nice just enough to give you a little bit more comfort and then also uh, not interfere with that shoulder uh, pocket and shouldering a rifle or any other platform that you may be shooting so definitely like those when it comes down to it and they even went as far as giving you a little bit of textured uh, end tabs so when it comes to pulling these off it is really easy and uh, it isn't fully velcroed all the way down it's just got that little tab to help get that strap up and off when you need it to. Uh, with that, uh, those shoulder straps and all of your adjustment pieces are sewn into the actual plate carrier pocket as well. So comparing this plate carrier to some of the other plate carriers out on the market, for example, Cry Precision, their JPC, AVS, and I believe even their CPC, their stitching is all right here at the shoulder pocket, which has a tendency to blow out after extreme use uh, or just prolonged use for that plate carrier over the years. Uh, where this is going to be stitched all the way through so you're not going to have to worry about that as much it still could happen 
you know you use abuse and just get after it with all of your equipment eventually something is going to fail but having everything concealed and protected right here in this shoulder pocket area definitely protects and increases the longevity and use of your plate carrier so that's something that i really like about this compared to some of the other products that are out on the market so just keep that in mind when you're comparing plate carriers look for those stitch points see where they're at and then determine whether or not you want to uh, go with that plate carrier for you know those things right there so uh, with that for your actual plate pocket right here you do have that laminate nylon material that's been laser cut for all of your molly you do have a little bit of velcro up top here which is really nice you do have vertical slotting for different panels and then you do have a little bit of velcro down here at the bottom now one thing that is kind of a setback with this plate carrier compared to a lot of other plate carriers that i've ran and played around with especially when it comes to compatibility with other companies and products this isn't always the friendliest when it comes to trying to incorporate other magazine panels uh, from other companies i did have a shaw concepts and then also a cry precision panel that i tried incorporating into this and it did not accept either one of them the magazine panels either sat a little too high and or a little too low on the bottom of the plate carrier uh, and it definitely kind of threw things off a little bit so with that when it comes to this specific plate carrier, I would recommend you go one of two routes. Either direct molly a magazine pouch to the actual molly that you have here on the front of the plate carrier, or just purchase their specific Grey Ghost Gear magazine panels, and then that way you don't have any compatibility issues and it runs pretty smoothly. Uh, one solution that I found as far as magazine panels go, Tac Taylor does a really good job of integrating into this as well. So that is also an option. That's currently what I have set this up and played around with a couple of dis different designs with and setups with and configurations. So that one definitely works really well, but you are going to have to either go direct Molly or you're going to have to go with one of their specific panels that you can purchase from them. So just keep that in mind. Um, because these vertical pockets or vertical molly sections right here aren't always the friendliest. So there's something to keep in mind when it comes down to it. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, it may be some trial and error on your end. Just make sure that if it doesn't work, the purchase or the company you purchased equipment from will return things and that way you can find the right product. But that essentially sums up really the front portion as far as the plate bag goes. You do have a really good portion or a section of that laminate nylon with uh, your velcro velcro to it your pocket is uh, pretty simple and straightforward i should say uh, but you do have mesh down the center of this so it does ventilate really well and then if you want to add things like those vent systems or you know the ice packs or camelbacks and all that stuff to the front or the rear pocket you can definitely do that and then when you're looking at the actual interior of the front plate pocket you do have two sections of padding so when it comes to comfort on either side front and rear you do have this little bit of padding to help comfort everything as well as provide a little bit of space or gapping so that way uh, your plate will ventilate and you don't get a lot of sweat and water and all that stuff stuck inside of the plate bag and not ventilating and airing out and all that so uh, that's a really cool design feature that uh, I really like about this. And then pretty much everything interior, aside from this mesh portion, is made out of tweave. So it will stretch and uh, kind of adapt to the width of the plate that you're running inside of this plate carrier. So you can run something really thin and lightweight, or you can run something really thick and standalone uh, in conjunction with soft body and all that. So a good setup overall when it comes down to it. Um, definitely recommended. And... Uh, yeah, pretty simple and straightforward. So uh, with that, we're gonna move to the cummerbunds. So the cummerbund is a really cool design when it comes down to it. It has integrated soft body and hard plate pockets. Uh, so you can run all of that. Or if you want, you can purchase a separate soft body and hard plate pocket, and then just utilize these little mesh pockets as extra gear pockets for any other mission essential equipment that you may wanna run. So you do have a, Quite a few options as far as that cummerbund goes you have internal molly as well as external molly so if you want to internally or externally mount equipment you can absolutely do that without any issues uh, which really enhances the plate carrier's ability to adapt to multiple different positions and setups and configurations and all of that 
uh, especially if you're running dual comms and uh, uh, or running a specific position where you need to carry extra mission essential equipment. So uh, with that, you do have these first beer tubes on either side. So when it comes to cutting away, just like the shoulder straps, it works out really well. And then on the back side of the plate carrier, you have quite a bit to work with. So up top here, you do have your drag handle that Velcros into place, which is a really nice setup and feature. I like that they have that in there. You do have a little bit of Velcro up at the top here, and this will actually integrate into some of their back panels and help keep your back panel flush and connected to your plate carrier, especially up at the top if you're running pouches on the top of that plate carrier. So that's a really nice thing to have. And then in addition to that, uh, most of their back panels, from what I've noticed, will have Velcro here at the top. So uh, when you put that Velcro panel on, like the laminate one we have here, it'll Velcro to the back panel, you zip it all on, and then your drag handle will connect to the exterior so you're not trying to fish and look for that drag handle when you need it. So that's a really cool feature, uh, something that I really like about this whole setup uh, as a whole. So uh, with that, just real quick, as far as back panels go, for this back panel, I recommend just going with their Molly one, so that way you can custom tailor all of your all of your back panels to your mission, operational environment, and duty position. I wouldn't go with any of the pre-made ones, just because those usually fix you in one specific kind of setup, or that Molly one will give you the ability to do really whatever you want. And just a real quick review on this. I'll keep it at 30 seconds. I'll do a separate review for it. But you do have a large internal pocket for camelbacks and equipment and all that. You got molly on the back here, and then you have that laminate molly on the, uh, or laser cut molly on the exterior. So it is very simple, it is very straightforward. And then you also have Velcro here at the bottom. So if you want to run a med kit on the bottom of this, have the pull tab just out the bottom of it, you can definitely do that. So. Very simple, very straightforward, not a whole lot to it as far as back panels go. Uh, but with that, coming back to the actual plate uh, or back plate bag for the SMC laminate plate carrier, your connection points for, actually, before I get to that, continuing down from the top to the bottom of the plate carrier, you do have that Velcro to attach your panels and equipment and all of that stuff. Or if you just want to run name tags or placards or whatever you want, you do have that Velcro for that as well. Uh, so that is nice when it comes down to that. Uh, laser cut molly throughout the entire laminate pocket. So that is nice. You do have your zippers on either side for all of your uh, zipper panels. And then when it comes to your actual cummerbund attachment method, uh, this is actually a really cool design and I wish I would have known about this a long time ago. But the way that they have this set up is they're just using malice clips instead of a lot of the other companies out there that are using elastic shock cord. Um, so this is actually a little bit more rigid, but uh, it definitely is a lot more fixed in position and doesn't move or kind of shift on you like some of those other systems. So the way that they have this set up is you run these malice clips through the back, uh, you'll pass your cummerbund through them and then you have these elastic loops that help lock everything in place so that way they don't shift on you. Uh, and then you just pass your uh, running end back through, so back side or left side first and then right side on top of it. And then you'll just pass those malice straps through the entire thing, lock them into place and then that will protect and keep that stuff locked in. So just to kind of give you just a brief idea of what it looks like, pull this one out. So that way you can see. So you can see the top portion of the malice clap or section is on your right side cummerbund. And then your bottom portion or the base or the back portion is on your left side. So top is right, bottom is left. So when you pull this all the way out, like so, Granted, this is locked in from this other side, but all you have to do, take your left side, molly it through all those sections. Make sure you go through these elastic loops as well, so that way it locks everything in place. And then when you come back down, we'll just get both sides so that way you guys can see them. of these 
things out. mark them so just one thing to keep in mind a chalk pen is really nice where you can just kind of briefly abrade your nylon strap so that way it just changes the kind of the direction of it but I'll pull just this one out so all of your straps will go all the way through so as you can see Everything comes right out. You have your channeling one, two, and three for top, middle, and bottom rows of Molly. And then all you're gonna do is pass that through that channel. You have a little bit of elastic here. These elastic loops right here are gonna be the ones you pass your Molly straps through to keep everything nice and tight. But all you're gonna have to do is take that strap, pass it through the channel on both sides. We don't run out of time on the battery. Take our Molly strap through the bottom, through the elastic loop, through the middle section, through that elastic loop again, and then through the top section. And put one short down here. Boom, there we go. So just like that, and that creates your base for that left-hand side. Come over here to the right-hand side. One, two, three, four. Pass these through the channels, so that way they're out of the way. And then this one's the middle one. So up and over before we get too far. Done. And then from here, middle, top, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the bottom one, that one went, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, there we go. And then just through the top section like so. Top, elastic, middle, elastic, and then the bottom. And then just push it all the way through, lock it into place. Like so, same on the other side. Top elastic loop. Make sure you don't accidentally go back through that middle one on the bottom for that left hand cummerbund. This is where multi tools and or tools make it really easy to put this stuff together. Middle one through that bottom elastic loop, try to pass through there again, and then through that bottom section. And then lock it back into place. And then from there, just take your excess, push it through. Tuck 
it all away. And your cummerbund is reassembled on your play carrier. So compared to a lot of the other systems, I do like that. It does make it very simple and straightforward. A little bit more time when it comes to setup, but everything's locked in place. It's not gonna shift on you. Uh, I have had that happen in the past where a cummerbund has shifted on me. So uh, this is definitely a really good setup for all of that. So with that, that pretty much closes everything up. Finish getting that set up. So if you guys have any questions on this play carrier, feel free, leave those comments and those questions. If you guys have experience with this play carrier, please feel free and share that experience that you have with them so that way other guys get more kind of input as far as how this play carrier can all come together. And with that, if you have any questions again, leave a comment and like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.